Hi, and welcome back. Uh, last time we talked about variables and something called an assignment statement. And we saw that we can assign a name to a value. But it would be pretty boring if all we could have on the right-hand side of an assignment statement was a single value. Instead, Python allows us to do some very interesting calculations on that right-hand side. And then the result of those calculations are stored as a value and named by a variable. The calculations on the right-hand side of that uh, assignment statement are called expressions. So let's look at a couple of examples of expressions, and these should look pretty familiar to you. They're fairly standard mathematical things. So 1 plus 1, for example, or 2 times 2. Notice how that we write the, the multiplication symbol. Or even something a little more complex using one of the built-in functions of Python. We can find out the length of a string called Luther. So those are all expressions. And of course, you can make them as complex as, uh, as you want in terms of mathematics. You can combine uh, multiplication and addition and subtraction and so forth. And you can use parentheses to, to group things and make sure that you're getting the, the order proper. So since these are expressions, we can use them on the right-hand side of an assignment statement. So here's a couple of examples here in uh, this box. We can assign minutes to a simple value. Notice in this line, not only can we use a value in an expression, but we can also substitute in another variable uh, for use in an expression. And so we can make use of, of one result in the next line uh, before we finally print out the result. Okay, so expressions are composed of both operators and operands. So let's look at some of the operators that we have. As I said, we have the standard mathematical operators, plus, minus, again, multiplication is done with the asterisk character, and divide is done with the forward slash character. If we want to take the take an exponent, we use two asterisks right together with no space. So if we wanted to find out what 10 squared was, we would write that 10 and then the double asterisks like that, followed by two. Now, when we're, when we're doing uh, floating point, or I'm sorry, when we're doing division using the divide character, uh, the standard result that Python will return when we're dividing any two numbers is a floating point number. If we want to get back an integer number as the result of a division, we use the double slash for integer division. And of course, if we're doing integer division, we might need to know what the remainder is. And so for that, we can use this modulus operator uh, to find the, what the remainder is. All right, this remainder operator is very useful in a lot of different circumstances. One of the, one of the most common times that you might want to use something like the, that you would want to use the remainder operator might be if you want to determine if a number is, is even, for example. And so you could take some number, we'll call that my number, because again, we might have assigned anything to that. Mod, we say, or to use the modulus operator, mod 2. And if this expression returns 0, if the remainder is 0, then we know that the number is even. Okay, so 
The book goes through a number of examples, but let's just finish out this short section uh, by focusing on this particular example in code lens here. So we'll start out by assigning the total seconds. All right, suppose that you had a seconds only stopwatch and you came up with 7,684 seconds and you wanted to figure out how many hours, minutes, and seconds that really was. We'd start out by assigning that uh, value to the, to the variable total seconds. Now, if we wanna find out how many hours that is, we can take the total number of seconds and use integer division to divide by 3600, which is the number of seconds in an hour. So that tells us the number of hours. And again, we used integer division here because we hours only are whole numbers. How many seconds are still remaining? Then we take the total number of seconds that we started with and we use the the modulo operator again by 3600 to find out what's the remainder. All right, so let's step through this step. So we find out that it's two hours, and when we use the remainder, we see that there are still 484 seconds remaining. Okay, so that's less than an hour, uh, but it's certainly some number of minutes. So we want to figure out the number of minutes here by stepping through another integer division. We take the seconds that are still remaining and divide by the number of seconds in a minute. And when we do that, we find out that that's eight minutes totally left. And then we want to find out after all of that's done, we should only have some number of seconds now that would be less than 60. So we'll take seconds still remaining modulo 60 and see what we get and we find out that we have four seconds finally remaining. So that 7,684 seconds was two hours, eight minutes, and four seconds. All right, so that shows you how you can combine variables into expressions, how you can make uh, one expression depend on the result of an expression that is, or, a, or of a statement that's happened uh, on a previous line of your program. Um, we've seen how you can use variables in the expression and we've seen some examples now of using um, regular mathematical operators and integer operators. And as we move on in the course you'll see that there are a number of other operators that we haven't covered here today um, that we can apply to strings and we can apply to some other other kinds, other types of objects.